Hi, it's Nick from UK Gardening. I've been overwintering my uh, fuchsias and my pelargoniums or geraniums uh, in the greenhouse over winter. I was a bit late with um, getting some of them in. This is uh, this greenhouse is actually from a neighbour of mine. Uh, they were they were replacing their greenhouse with a new new one, so um, they actually gave me this, which is I think is fantastic. But it did mean that my fuchsias and pelargoniums were outside for a couple of frosty nights, so I lost about half of them. Um, but uh, the other half are, are, are growing really well, growing really strongly. Uh, but what I'm going to find now is that these fuchsias, as you can see, they're getting quite long and leggy and, and spindly. I'm actually going to reduce them in height, uh, pinch them out, and that just means that I'll actually get a lot more branches and therefore a lot more blooms. You don't want to do this, you want to do this uh, perhaps a couple of times in the growing season. Um, maybe uh, beginning to middle of April and then towards the end of April and maybe mid-May and what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to clean my secateurs first because I've that's a methylated spirit here just put this on a bit of kitchen towel this is just to get rid of any uh, any fungal infection that might be on my secateurs I think it's more important particularly if it's a soft uh, a soft wood that you're, you're pruning or cutting up. And then what you want to do is count up a couple of, uh, well you can see the stem here, count out from where the, it joins the stem, count out two, um, two leaf nodes and then just nip that bit out of there. What I'm going to do, you can pinch it out with your fingers. Oh, these little snips are quite handy. Again, I'm just going to give them a little wipe. I just need to tidy that end up. You don't really want to leave a you want to leave a nice clean cut. Just get that hair right. Yeah, you want to leave a nice clean cut, just above a leaf node. And here we go. One, two. Cutting that one out of there. One, two. Cut that one out of there. I think that one needs a secateurs. I mean, don't, don't, it's not too precise. Two or three, and you'll you'll actually see you've got a, a stocky plant. Let's see, one, two. Can nip that out of there. And that one out of there. So you end up with a quite a, quite a stock quite a squat little plant but out of each of those cuts you'll actually get two to three branches that come out of there and on those branches you'll then get flowers so I'm just going to nip that one out of there so we'll put that one the parent plant to one side I did mean to uh, sorry I forgot to mention I did give these a really good water this morning um, that really gets the uh, the um, liquid drawn up through the roots, through the stems, and into the into the leaves. So they're actually quite quite firm. They're full of water. You can fill them full of water. But also the cuttings that you're going to take. What I'm going to do here is get a bit of a little bit of space. I'm going to move these over. This is. Uh, compost out of the compost bin. It doesn't have to be seed compost. You can get a, uh, a potting compost from the garden centre. But garden compost is perfectly uh, good. Sand it down a little bit. Now I've noticed that they've got a little bit of white fly on them as well. So I'm going to pull off the bottom couple of leaves or snip them off might be better again don't want to take any don't want to tear any and then because I've cut just above a leaf node on the parent plant I need to cut just below a leaf node on the on the cutting cut square square across the, uh, the plant hormones are actually all in the leaf node or a lot of the plant hormones are in the leaf nodes and that's where the roots will actually come out of and then I'm going to take these couple of bigger leaves off there and then I'm 
just going to nip out the top two leaves because I lose a lot of moisture through there through the larger leaves and I'm just going to pop him in to so I'm going to cut that one off of there like that again cut across underneath the leaf node leaf node is just where the, the leaves join the actual stem so I'm just going to cut underneath there these off and then I'm going to cut the top one I will cut just above the leaf node again I'll cut it at an angle I've said in my previous videos if you cut it at an angle then when you water it the uh, the water will actually run off the stem rather than sitting on the top of it. And I take that one off and I pop him in there. You want to push it down about a third of the length of the cutting. Fuchsias root really easily, really well. But you want to just, as I said before, just cut off the leaves to stop any. Stop too much moisture loss. Push that one in there. You can even do uh, small, small bits like this. I'll just take one of those two leaves off. Bit fiddly. I'll just push that in. Just create a little hole if necessary. Actually, that's as I've only got four of them, I'm going to slightly rearrange it. So what I need is a little stick. Just create a little hole in there. Push that in there. Now, uh, it's important to give it water so that they. Um, the soil doesn't take the moisture out of the out of the stem, out of the plant, and obviously if they fall over, just stand them up again and give them a push down, and put it somewhere uh, warm. Um, as I've said, it's we're, we're now in April. Uh, it's it's likely to be too cold outside, uh, particularly if we get a frost. So keep it either in a greenhouse, in a conservatory, or on the windowsill. And you can also uh, give it a little protection, put a little bag over it to create a little micro climate. And like a little greenhouse for it. Um, obviously label it. And I'm going to do this one now as well. Using the same principles, you can see in here, I don't know if you can, hopefully, I can get the camera in close enough. You can see in here that it's already started to, uh, to to throw up new shoots from the branches. But if I just nip that one out, I nip that out there, you can see that all the, all of the energy will now go into these smaller branches. And when you've got multiple branches, you'll have multiple flowers. But you don't want to do this too late in the season or you'll be cutting all your flowers off. Well, I mean, fuchsias will flower until uh, September, October time anyway, but yeah, you want you want a fairly nice display sort of from June onwards. So I'll just give this a, I'm just doing the same thing again, counting the number of leaf, leaf joints and cutting at two. This is quite a, a big, big branch. This one's actually got, it's cookie spit, it's actually an insect, I think it's a, caterpillar and it actually just bubbles this uh, as a protection as a, uh, a way of protecting itself from from uh, 
predators. Can't see anything in that, but there. Yeah, there we go. You can you can see there. It's actually a green fly. Oh, okay. So it's a green fly. It's an adult green fly. But we'll uh, we'll dispatch him. And you can see there's a lot more green fly down there. This needs to come out of here. That's actually a foxglove. But I've got lots of foxgloves, so I'm going to throw that one away. Again, one, two, one, two, I'll cut this one off here. Oh, it's got white fly. So that's, uh, yeah, a nice sturdy little plant in a few weeks I'll have uh, yeah I'll have increased the number of plants I've actually got you can also do exactly the same thing with things like penstemon um, with uh, geraniums or pelargoniums you do it exactly the same way you, you cut up uh, above a couple of uh, leaf nodes um, and then you, c you can pot on the cuttings with this one um, you can see that this is quite a long um, quite a long whippy stem or branch that I've got to growing here you can actually take a number of cuttings from here count up again count up a couple of leaf, leaf nodes cut it um, just above a leaf joint with something sharp unlike my secateurs cut an angle above the leaf nodes and now what we can actually do with this one is we'll cut below a leaf node straight across And then about five, six inches cut below the next leaf node. And now we've actually got two plants out of here. We'll cut the bottom, cut the bottom leaves off. Because it will actually just be losing moisture out of these ones. And then cut, that. cut some of the larger ones off of here. And then cut that large that bit out of there. Grab a pot. Just stick that in there. This one again, we'll cut the leaves off, cut the bigger leaves off of this up here. push that into the compost and these root really easily um, as I said before they'll root really easily and that's about it I'm going to carry on um, taking cuttings and uh, pinching these other fuchsias I've got out thanks very much for your time if you've got any questions please post them below <laughs>